increase and or percent decrease problems can be challenging for us. Um, and so this particular problem will illustrate that scenario. I'm going to give you a, a little bit of time here to read the story problem. You know, in all story problems, you should read a problem once, twice, three times. Um, to kind of get a feel for what you're given here. Um, we're comparing smokers and non-smokers rates, insurance rates. Um, we see that if somebody does not smoke, that their premium would be $485. But for somebody who does smoke, their insurance premium would be $1,494. What we want to do is see what the percent increase is for that smoker over a non-smoker. And so whether it's an increase or a decrease problem, you're always going to find the difference between the two scenarios. Um, we are going to increase the cost for a smoker. It's going to go almost, it's going to go up actually a little bit more than $1,000. And then we want to compare it to the base amount. So we're comparing the smoker to the non-smoker. So when I ask you to find the difference, would you take and subtract the rate for a smoker versus a non-smoker? I'm going to write that like this. And, and divide that by, or compare it to the non-smoker rate, because we're kind of, if you will, we're being a little prejudicial and saying that a non-smoker is uh, the better scenario. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and find that difference. So we have um, $1,494 for the smoker minus $485 for the non-smoker, and we need to find that difference and divide by that base rate. Well, that difference is $1,009. And so if you would get your calculator out now and take $1,009 and divide that by 485, this is a circumstance where the percentage is going to turn out to be greater than 100%. That increase is significant. That is really a a difference, quite a large difference. The decimal value that comes out of this is 2.08. And if you want to write that as a percentage, you have to move the decimal place two places to the right in order to put that percent symbol on this value. So again, I get to see that the increase for a smoker is 208% over a non-smoker. Quite significant. A lot of problems in our world like this that deal with percent increases and percent decreases.